18. And it's a seven of clubs. Seven of clubs on the Scott turn. Advantage still Williams. Yeah, he's got the clubs blocked. Scott eight. needed David a king Williams or a five. Cannot a connect block. on the end. Davey. Williams doubles up to the chip lead. Hey, listen, if you're done with the lollipop, maybe you want to pass that to the floorman. Williams taking the heckling in stride. Head back over to table four. Blinds now 1,500 and 3,000. Sammy Farha with an almost four to one chip advantage. All in. Jack seven for Eastgate. He goes all in. Sammy King nine suited. Not a lot of options for Peter with less than six big blinds. 13-5. Uh, 14-5 more to get 17-5 total. That's bad. Got to finish it, buddy. Sammy, Sammy calls. calls. Made a good call or a bad call? It's a good call. I don't have a good hand. Neither do I. Oh, my God. That was a good call, then. <laughs> <laughs> then I got. Now I know what, I, what you got. Eastgate's playing catch-up. OK. He's going to want to hit a jack or a seven. Flush would be the best option. Farha pairs his nine on the flop. Seven no longer good for Peter. He wants a jack or two runners. Eastgate with an open-ended straight draw. Well, that's one of the runners. Five or a ten make him happy. A jack works as well. Here's the river. Queen on the river seals the deal for Sammy. He's moving to the sweet 16. That was a good match, buddy. Was a rough one. I didn't play that well. I played early You started unbelievable. You didn't play me. You started good. Then the cards changed. I caught a lot of cards at the end. Yeah. Every hand you marked, I had a good hand. Really? I really did. I caught yeah. really good cards. I mean, uh, you had me down to 20,000. Yeah. So fast. But you know, there's a, one hand makes a lot of difference. It does. In this kind no, of you, you played good. I'm telling you, you played good. Lindgren advances, Williams breathes new life, and Farha joins Eric in the money. From high above Las Vegas, welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Inside the Caesars Palace poker room, Jennifer Harmon is all in pre-flop with ace jack, but Kenny Tran's pocket jacks have the advantage. Flop seven eight nine. All the space. Yeah, seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Kenny seven, Tran eight, nine, using the crystal ball. Ten. 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 Harmon can chop the pot it's if a ten, ten peels off. Ten, ten ball. <laughs> ten of spades, you mean? Here's the turn. Really ten of spades is a huge tease card. Six of diamonds on the turn. A five will work for a chop as well. It's all right, it's fine. I take it. Jennifer could it's scoop it with an Kenny ace. Tran, Not gonna happen, though. Trans Jacks take it. Jennifer Harmon headed home. Who do you play next? Do you play? Start the car, age. Boy's putting the hammer down. Back at our feature table, Glenn Shorney with an almost three to one chip lead. His ace king suited compliments of our GoDaddy heads up pocket cam. I'm all in. Shorty puts Brad all in. Brad's only got about That's seven big blinds. I call you. He calls with Jack Nine. You ready, baby? Show it to me. Off suit. It's my favorite, luckiest hand. I have to. No, no. You got to wait. You got to sit down. We're not insured. Please. <laughs> Show me a Jack. And a bunch of little things. Diamonds. Show me. Don't turn around when I'm don't when I'm talking to you, boy. I got a pace. You got a pace. All right, I'm gonna pace. Pace, no, pace with pacing. me. You I'm can pace it. with me. Nine nine Jack. Spin it. <laughs> Spin it. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not myself. I'm. I'm so overly medicated. <laughs> One time. You think I'm favored? You sit here. You sit here. You sit. Here, please. Oh, here we go. Here we go, the vanilla ice of poker. Why? <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like, but God, I'm so close to wanting to try it. What are we waiting for? You. Me? Spin it! Here's the flop. Spin Jack! It. Diamonds one time. You got this flop, is great. All spades yes. on the flop. Three spades? Garrett goes from being a two to one dog to a two Come to one on. favorite. Come on, baby. Two red deuces. Give me a spade. Two we'll red deuces. Spade. Come, please, come in. The buffet's a, a 
about an hour out. Spay, you know where I live. He's too young. I paid my dudes. I did musical theater for four years with with the Caprizza Cantata. Bald, Baldy, it's over. Start the van. Oh, the pendulum swings again. Chorney pairs his ace on the turn. So many cars to dodge. Come on, one. I got a couple outs. Do I have a couple outs? You got more than a couple. What do you mean not much? I'm on an Try 15 outs, Brad. Red deuce. So what? How about Red a spade? Deuce. Can you Red get me a spade? Deuce. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds? Why do you want? Wait, oh, I you don't want to go against me. I get it. Yeah, straight, genius. Oh, OK. Here's you know. the river. Deuce of hearts. Nine of hearts on the river means Garrett's going home. He's going to have to rewrite that script for next year. <laughs> Well done, champ. Good luck well again, done. man. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. You're a killer, man. Yeah. You're a killer. Pleasure, Brad. Pleasure, man. Thank you, Nels. Hey, man. Well done. Well done. But I had a few outs. Good game, man. It just goes to show, if you have five outs, right? Brad's got one more out. The door. I had it. I had three outs. Four outs. I had three outs. Didn't I? Am I adding wrong? Please come in. The buffet's in about an hour. I paid my dudes. I did musical theater. I'm not myself. I'm so overly medicated. Oh, congratulations. It just goes to show, if you have five outs, I had four outs. I had three outs. Didn't I? Am I adding more? Welcome back to Caesar's Palace. The money spots are almost full in the hearts and diamonds side of the bracket. John Fan defeated 2007 World Series champ Jerry Yang. Huxseed continued his domination here, getting by Gus Hansen. David Oppenheim advanced over Phil Locke. Eric Lindgren made the money for the first time, defeating Elia Lezra. Sammy Farha got by reigning World Series champ Peter Eastgate. Kenny Tran defeated Jennifer Harmon. And Glenn Chorney managed to get by the loquacious Brad Garrett. Let's go out to our final match, which has moved to table four. We rejoin David Williams and Scott like a, Fishman, where they're all in. Worse hand than this. This this hand sucks. It's like King Deuce or something. <laughs> I do. Two fours for David. How good King am I to Deuce. say King Deuce? Scott Fishman. I predicted it was King Deuce. That right there is worthy of a win. If you say you got King Deuce, not King Three, Queen Three, King Deuce Pacific. Don't worry. Fishman went all in. Williams called him. Hup, hup, hup. Yo, 11. Couple of spades Six, eight, on the flop. That's, I got a straight draw. Got a, like a nine of spades or something. Here's a turn. 10 of spades wow, on the turn. For me. Eight, six, spade, king. Red three. $100 for a red three. <laughs> Serious. Yesterday, I asked to do it yesterday. Seven of clubs on the river means Williams wins and is the last one to advance from this side of the bracket. Williams tipping for good service. I, I lost. What are you gonna do? Hey. The round of 32 is complete in the hearts and diamonds brackets with eight players securing spots in the round of 16. Eric Lindgren, David Williams, John Fan, and Sammy Farha from the hearts bracket. Kenny Tran, David Oppenheim, Huck Seed, and Glenn Chorney moving on to the round of 16 from the diamond side. I am ready to have fun. Oh my God, this is so sick. What could he have? I should have called to find out. Any one of those nine. How good am I to say King Deuce? His radar's waking up. Had a good call or a bad call? It's a good call. Can I call a timeout over here? Good game, buddy. <laughs> You're never going to get back into Canada. Sure, it's easy to get out, but they don't let you back in. More heads up action still ahead from Caesars Palace in the round of 32 in the clubs and spades brackets as the National Heads Up Poker Championship continues after this. I started playing poker uh, when I was in prison. I did about four years for, and I, I don't care if people know, for uh, tearing the tag off my mattress. I took up the game, and before I knew it, I had an amazing memory. Uh, the minute a flop comes out, I know how many red cards are left. I, uh, I know why the board is green. I know why someone keeps tapping me on the shoulder going, it's your turn. And that's really what poker is to me. Yeah. 